Hi and welcome back to the channel. I am coming to you live here from the job site and I just wanted to point something out real quick. Um, if you've seen my uh, video I did a few months ago on preventing the dip by Z-Bar and you've seen me scrunching up the pad, kicking it up next to the tack strip and getting all of the compression out of it um, so that you would not have the dips by Z-Bar and there was controversy about that, about people was commenting back and saying that they stretched their pad in and stuff like that. Well. Um, how, when did you say you moved in here? Uh, 2011? Yeah, what? You moved in here in 2011? Yeah. Okay, so this carpet has been installed in 2011, so that's seven years that this carpet's been down. And I just wanted to show you what happens. If you can see here, there's like probably two inches of gap in between the pad right there. This is a... a along the seam here you can see after so long you can see that they did glue it but after so long the glue will give way and if you have stretched it it's going to gap open just like that and you can see here as well and right over here it looks like they stretched it here in the closet as well so i'm not going to be on here long i just wanted to point that out that's why you do not stretch carpet in I mean, you don't stretch the carpet pad, you always scrunch it up and release the compression. You actually do right the opposite of, stretch, of stretching it in, you scrunch it up to prevent that right there. Thanks for watching, FBSB is out.